Okay, here's another very, very quick logic tip for you. Um, Romy, one of our regulars, uh, called up earlier with a problem he'd encountered. Now, this is a problem other people have encountered with logic. And basically, if you're using the punch in and out to do drop in and out recording, and to activate that, you do customize the control bar area up here, and you tick auto punch, and then the auto punch appears here. And the auto punch allows you to drag across in its own lane and set a drop in and a drop out for recording. So when you hit record, the player will play whatever is on the track. The, the musician or singer can hear their, their take up to that point. And then at this point, it will drop into record, record, and then drop out of record at the end of the red. Now, sometimes there's a bug. When you switch on the auto punch here, this red line just continues on and on and on, off into infinity. Right, no matter how far you scroll over and over and over this side, the red line just keeps on, keeps on going, keeps on going, keeps on going, keeps on going, keeps on going. And if there's an end song marker, which is that, see that triangle there that I'm dragging, that's the end song marker. It, the red line can extend out past the end song marker. It just goes off into infinity. And there's no way to get the end of it to drag it back to make it shorter. So the fix for that is very simple. You just get the marquee tool and you just marquee over a section, just a, one or two bars on an empty track is best because now when you've done that, you hit record and it will put the auto punch red line only over the marquee range from left to right like this. Yeah? And that shortens the red line. Now you can grab either end of it, move it around, and do your drop in and out exactly starting and ending where you want. That's the fix. Hope that's useful.